For e-commerce stores, Black Friday and Cyber Monday might just be the most important days of the year, causing surges in sales and traffic as over 175 million Americans all go shopping at once. Now, this year, these special dates might just be the largest yet. So we wanna make sure you're ready by arming you with simple, actionable advice that can help you get more sales. Last year in the United States, Black Friday e-commerce sales topped $7.4 billion. On Cyber Monday, online sales were even more astounding, topping $9.2 billion for online stores. There's no doubt that preparing for Black Friday and Cyber Monday can leave a lot of store owners feeling stressed. Let's face it, the influx of sales, traffic, orders to fulfill and support requests can start to feel overwhelming. That's why we created this video to give you a simple checklist to help you avoid issues and seize this massive opportunity. We want you to hit the ground running, have less headaches and more happy customers. So by the end of this video, you will have a checklist with the most important things you need to accomplish to have your most profitable Black Friday and Cyber Monday yet. Starting your planning early is vital for achieving success. Since almost every online retailer on the planet will be participating in Black Friday and Cyber Monday, you need to ensure that your business is going to stand out in an ocean of competitors. So right off the bat, probably one of the best things you can do to become a better business owner is to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any tips to take your store to the next level. A close second to that is crafting an irresistible offer. It's well known that customers who participate in Black Friday and Cyber Monday do it to take advantage of those door crashing sales. We've all seen the videos of how crazy crowds get on Black Friday at brick and mortar stores. Thankfully for us online stores, we only have to deal with an influx of traffic, not hordes of foot traffic. To get customers to your online store, start by crafting a jaw-dropping sale for a flagship product or products. Now, don't worry as much about the profit margin per item. Often customers will add on items as they make their way to checkout. So while your margin might be lower for your flagship product, you can always win on sales volume. This is what is known as a loss leader strategy whereby a product or service is sold at a price that is less profitable or not profitable, but is meant to attract new customers and to sell additional products and services. Often customers wouldn't have considered these other products without the flagship products discount. For some merchants, loss leader pricing might not make strategic sense for their products or brand. So here are some other ideas. Firstly, you can offer a product bundle. This is where you sell a package of products for a lower price than you would charge if the customer bought all the products separately. Pursuing a bundle pricing strategy allows you to increase your profit by using a discount to induce customers to buy a lot more than they otherwise would have. Next up, we have gamify your offers. This is the use of gaming techniques like competition, ranking lists, scoring systems, and incentives to make buying decisions more fun and thus attractive. Gamifying offers can boost sales, increase profit, and promote brand loyalty. Two of the most famous examples of this are McDonald's Monopoly and Starbucks Rewards. Those same principles of gamification can be applied to e-commerce businesses. That being said, your gamification sales strategy should be perfectly in tune with your brand identity. If you sell a bingo set, spin to win might make a lot more sense than Monopoly. Lastly, we have creating limited time offers. And these are rooted in a psychological phenomenon known as loss aversion. Loss aversion is the idea that people prefer avoiding losses over acquiring gains. I think we're all pretty familiar with fear of missing out. Offering a deal that only lasts for a limited amount of time, like 24 hours, can give a person a feeling of urgency, which may help prompt a sale. It can also prevent a customer from delaying a purchase decision and check out right now. Regardless of your strategy, creating an irresistible offer is vital to having a successful Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Organize your sales early. Definitely don't leave planning your sales until the last minute. Not only will waiting make your life more stressful, but it can cause you to make costly mistakes. If you aren't careful to run the math on the costs involved with your product, like shipping, packaging, and marketing, you run the risk of losing money on sales. Take the time to review your inventory and the margins associated with each product. 
Next, you'll wanna create a planned sales map. It should include the current price, the cost of goods sold, the sale price, the start date of the sale, the end date of the sale, and the discount type. Is it gonna be an automatic discount, a price reduction, or will users need to enter a discount code? Also, how do you intend to promote the sale? This is all information that you'll wanna have at your fingertips. Let's talk about contingency plans. Make sure that you have backup plans in case something goes wrong. You really don't wanna be in a position where you miss out on sales due to an issue that could have been easily prevented. Make a list of all those things that could go wrong and then plan for them. What will you do if you run out of stock earlier than expected? Make sure to plan for quick restocking. What will you do if your shipping partner can't handle the number of orders? Well, you need to find out what your shipper's capacity is and put a fallback plan in place in case it is exceeded. Now, these are just two examples of some of the worst things that can go wrong, but some issues are business specific. So take some time to customize your list and see around corners. The last thing you want is to be troubleshooting amidst one of the biggest sales of the year. Now, one thing you wanna make sure you take time to prepare is your multi-channel selling strategy. If you're new to this concept, it's when you sell your products on multiple sales channels like your own website, online marketplaces, mobile marketplaces, and sometimes even brick and mortar stores. If you're not already doing this, you'll wanna make sure that you give yourself time to set up and install sales channels like Google, Amazon, Facebook, Pinterest, and Walmart. Prioritize getting this done early, as the algorithm of sales channels like Google can sometimes take time to learn about your store so that your products are shown to the right shoppers. Now, if you're already doing this, then you'll wanna dig into your analytics to find out which channels work best for your store and then double down on them. With such high stakes during Black Friday, it's incredibly important that your website is prepared. If your site crashes due to the surge in traffic, that could mean a lot of missed sales. It's crucial that you ensure that your website can handle that spike in traffic. So make sure to test the load capacity of your server. Secondly, you need to ensure that your store can handle the increased demand. Whether you use a supplier for your inventory or manufacture it yourself, make sure to use forecasting tools like the Shopify app Inventory Planner to make sure you're prepared to handle an increased demand in sales. Not meeting the demand of your customers is easily one of the worst things that can happen during a sale. Now, I'm not trying to be a doomsday prophet here. I'm just trying to give you very real scenarios so that you are prepared. Next, let's talk about considering product trends. While this doesn't mean that you should pivot your business at the last minute, introducing new products to your store that take advantage of current trends can bring in a lot of sales. 38% of Shopify merchants are introducing new products for Black Friday and Cyber Monday this year. Also, according to Shopify data, here are some of the top trending product categories of this year. Indoor and outdoor furniture, home office equipment and accessories, board games and puzzles, exercise equipment, self-care and beauty products, leisure wear. Now let's talk about gift cards. Gift cards are such a great way to capture sales that you might otherwise lose out on if you run out of inventory. Consider including gift cards in your strategy because they give you the time and money you need to restock before the gift cards are redeemed after the holiday season. Now let's talk about optimizing your order and fulfillment workflows. With the influx of sales that often occurs during Black Friday and Cyber Monday, it's pretty easy to get overwhelmed if you haven't set up your workflow properly. Here are some things that you might wanna get done to make sure your workflow is seamless. Organize your fulfillment area so that your most popular products can be easily packed and shipped. Hire any additional fulfillment staff that might help things run smoother. Over-communicate with fulfillment and delivery staff to help avoid errors. If you're a Shopify merchant, use orders timeline in your admin to give specific instructions to your staff. Next, prioritize and organize your orders. Some common ways to organize and group orders include organizing your orders by customer priority and fulfill these orders first so you can show appreciation to your most loyal customers. You can also organize orders by shipping priority so customers who paid for expedited shipping get their orders first. You can also organize by delivery methods, so products fulfilled by local delivery or a given shipping provider are grouped and fulfilled all at once. Product type. 
Different products require different picking protocols and packaging. So group your orders by product type so you can optimize the time it takes to pick and pack an order. Now let's talk about campaigns. Planning ad campaigns takes time and you'll wanna be sure you give yourself enough lead time to create campaigns that actually drive results. Let's start with your hero image. When potential customers land on your site, it's very likely that your hero image is gonna be one of the first things they see. That's why it's one of your best opportunities to communicate your outrageous Black Friday Cyber Monday offers. Now, you don't need to be a phenomenal graphic designer to get this done. Templates on Canva are a great way to create beautiful designs simply. Almost anyone can do it. But if time is your concern, hiring a designer through Upwork can help free up your time to focus on other tasks. Plan ads early. Since Black Friday Cyber Monday is the biggest sales weekend of the year, you can be sure that every e-commerce store on the planet is gonna be trying to get a slice of the action. That's why you will wanna plan your ads early. The reality is running ads during this popular time can be a lot more expensive than other periods of the year. So you'll wanna have ample time to prepare solid ad creative and plan your placements so that when you do launch your campaigns, you can actually make the most of them. As a pro tip, create ad sequences of multiple ads with unique messages and offers to build hype for the big day. Take potential customers from awareness to consideration before Black Friday and Cyber Monday so that when your sale launches, they're ready to convert. Now let's talk about building a buzz with your audience. Social media followings and email lists are the perfect way to pique the curiosity of your customers early. Several weeks before Cyber Monday and Black Friday, begin teasing sale items to your audience. That way, when you finally announce the sale, you have already built momentum. Your goal is to stay top of mind with potential customers so that when the big weekend finally arrives, they'll head over to your store first because they're already bursting with desire. Of course, we need to talk optimization. Think mobile first, people. Today, virtually everyone is walking around with a mini computer in their pocket, which explains why mobile sales increasingly outperform desktop sales on Black Friday and Cyber Monday for e-commerce businesses. To prepare for this growing trend, make sure to review your user experience on mobile. Firstly, make sure your site is easy to navigate on mobile. If potential customers get frustrated on their way to checkout, you're incredibly likely to lose some of them along the way. Nobody likes an empty or abandoned cart. Secondly, make sure your site looks great on mobile. Customers make judgments of the trustworthiness of a site based on how it looks and feels. Lastly, make sure your site incorporates Shopify Pay or Google Pay. You wanna reduce friction during the checkout experience. Asking customers to fill out checkout forms can be mildly annoying. Autofill features on Shopify Pay and Google Pay make the checkout experience incredibly easy. Now let's talk about marketing. I wanted to start with retargeting past customers. It's well known that marketing to past customers is significantly easier and less costly than marketing to new customers. And this is because these customers have already trusted you enough to give you their money and are now intimately acquainted with your brand. As a marketing best practice, you should have tracking pixels for Google and Facebook campaigns added to your store. If you haven't done this already, do it now as it will give you the ability to retarget people that land on your site during Black Friday and Cyber Monday. If you already have a retargeting list, make sure to launch retargeting campaigns to past customers, letting them know about your phenomenal Black Friday and Cyber Monday offers. As a pro tip, you can retarget these people with a Black Friday Cyber Monday ad sequence several weeks before the big weekend. Gift guides are often created weeks, sometimes months in advance of Cyber Monday and Black Friday. The reason for this is that blog posts not only need time to be written, imaged, and edited, but they also need to be published so that they are given time to rank in search engines. As a result, you should get in touch with blogs in your niche early so that you have proper time to organize a sponsorship or affiliate deal. As a pro tip, sign up for Help a Reporter Out, where you can get requests of reporters looking for story and gift guide ideas right to your inbox. Simply send them a pitch and you can begin a conversation. For Shopify merchants, email marketing has the highest conversion rates of any marketing channel. During Black Friday and Cyber Monday last year, conversion rates for email marketing sat at a whopping 4.38%. That being said, start planning your email marketing campaigns early. 
crafting strong subject lines, and writing compelling body copy. Your email marketing campaigns for this season should include the following emails. A Black Friday Cyber Monday sale announcement. A sneak peek of upcoming sales. An exclusive sale to email subscribers. A last reminder before the sale ends. And of course, abandoned cart emails. Email marketing works best when you send the right message to the right audience at the right time. To accomplish this, make sure to segment your audience into distinct groups. Some common types of segmentation are highly engaged shoppers, shoppers that haven't purchased in a long time, and customers that like discounts. Segmentation ensures that customers get messaging that feels tailored to them. As a pro tip, rewarding past customers and email subscribers with early access to sales and special offers is an amazing way to build brand loyalty. Now let's talk about sales. Specifically, let's start with scarcity. Scarcity is the phenomenon where a product or service is limited in availability or perceived as being limited, helping it feel more attractive. Scarcity can boost sales by leaving customers with a feeling of that fear of missing out on something that is extremely popular. Now, creating the illusion of scarcity can accelerate demand. Two extremely famous examples of this are marketing tactics used for Harry Potter and Apple. We all remember those long lines outside the Apple store and the bookstore. However, it's crucial to understand that the illusion of scarcity is far different than actually underestimating the demand for a new product. Countdown timers or left in stock alerts are great ways to build a scarcity mentality and ensuring that customers act on the sale now instead of procrastinating to the last second. Now let's discuss support. During Black Friday and Cyber Monday, it's critical that you are easy to reach to answer any questions a potential customer may have. You don't wanna miss out on sales because the potential customer left after waiting too long to get information that would have helped their purchasing decision. Thankfully, there is a fix for that. We're talking about integrated live chat. Shopify chat is a live chat function that makes communicating with customers quickly easier than ever. It allows you to deepen those customer relationships through conversations, which ultimately benefits sales. In fact, customers who chat with a brand convert three times more often and have a 10 to 15% higher average cart value. Live chat doesn't need to be on your homepage if you don't want it to be, and instead can be placed on strategic areas of your site, like product pages or during key purchasing moments. When it comes to customer support, speed is only half the battle. If you're not courteous, speed alone won't get you very far. Before Black Friday and Cyber Monday arrive, make sure to take some time to craft standard phrases and replies for common questions and concerns. With all that increased traffic to your store, this can save you a lot of time. When dealing with an upset customer, make sure you do these things. Use positive language. Set the right expectations. Adapt your tone to the context. Know your product inside and out and advocate for the concerns of the customer and identify possible solutions. This can make a world of difference in your customer relationships. Now, you should definitely be offering easy and hassle-free returns. No one wants to make the wrong decision and waste money on a product that doesn't solve a problem or give them a tangible benefit. As a result, people can be naturally hesitant to make a purchase decision and are often in need of a little bit of reassurance. If you make the buyer bear all the risk, then you're gonna surely lose out on a lot of sales. Risk reversal is a marketing concept whereby you help the consumers overcome hesitations by assuming the risk as a seller. And it's a proven way to increase sales. While risk reversal language really depends on your business, here are some popular examples. Easy cancellations, 30 day return policy, quick and easy assembly, money back guarantee, quality guarantee, price match guarantee, and free trials. Make sure that your policy is fair and well communicated. It's worth including a guarantee like a 30-day return policy on your product page so that those potential customers feel confident about hitting the checkout button. Of course, we need to talk about tracking. You need to ensure that your Google Analytics is set up correctly. Have you ever heard the saying, what isn't measured isn't managed? Well, the influx of traffic that many stores receive during Black Friday and Cyber Monday is an incredible opportunity to learn more about your customers. Make sure your Google Analytics is set up correctly. 
allowing you to gain insights on your customers, the performance of your marketing, content, and products. This data can give you insight into changes you need to make so your site gets better results. The more you know, the more you can act on it, and the better you'll be long term. Then we have Shopify reports. Now, it would be an understatement to say that marketing is a fundamental part of having a successful Black Friday and Cyber Monday. With Shopify reports, you can gain a comprehensive understanding of how your marketing campaigns are performing. Shopify reports allows you to understand your customers' buying habits and optimize your marketing campaigns. Make sure to take some time to get familiar with this powerful feature, as without knowing it, your marketing campaigns will essentially be guesswork. To make this super simple, I'm gonna leave a link below to a resource that tells you everything you need to know about Shopify reports. While analytics and reports give us tons of valuable information, adding a heat map to your store can help you unearth even deeper insights about how consumers interact with your site. It can help you learn from users themselves how to create more friendly web design by tracking their mouse movements and showing you which parts of your website are most engaging. Finding patterns in how users behave on your website can prompt some pretty worthwhile changes. Now I wanna talk about how to turn seasonal shoppers into year-round customers. Just because Black Friday and Cyber Monday are over doesn't mean your relationship with those customers is. During Black Friday and Cyber Monday, you should take a proactive approach to getting your customers to sign up to your email list and follow your social media accounts. It's so that you can nurture them with valuable content and compelling offers throughout the year. This is also why it's so important that you have taken time to install tracking pixels on your site so that you can expose website visitors to your products and enticing ads all year long. Now, Black Friday and Cyber Monday have as much to do with learning lessons to help make you a better business owner as they do with gaining sales and profit. When preparing, make sure to document your processes with notes, checklists, screenshots, and spreadsheets. Take detailed notes of what you're doing so that you can evaluate the outcomes and make improvements next time. As a business owner, constantly documenting and improving your systems and processes is one of the greatest investments you can make in your long-term success. See, creating a business is in some ways like being an architect, but instead of creating buildings, we design systems and build relationships that help our mission come to life and store or succeed. Not only does documenting processes allow you to find out where tweaks can be made, but if you ever expand your team, having documented processes will help collaboration and make standardization so much easier. Now, I won't belabor the point, but I can't stress how important documentation is and how many businesses miss out on its benefits. Black Friday and Cyber Monday are a massive opportunity for every online business out there. So don't get stressed, just get to work. Hopefully this video has given you a blueprint for everything you need to accomplish to have your most successful Black Friday and Cyber Monday yet. Also, let me know in the comments if there's any video you'd like to see that will help you with your entrepreneurial journey. I always love to hear from anyone and wanna help make your journey simpler any way I can. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more tips to grow your online business. Remember, we're a channel for small business owners with big plans. I've been your host, Tyler, and I'll see you next time on Learn with Shopify.